Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fire 4. Kaiser is a comedy to France. Let us continue on from the last left off. So, let's develop Paraguay a little bit because I'll be nice. And the Canadians have decided that they want to kill... They want to crush the American Revolution. Now, the Canadians did wait until America was already unified to try to strike, which I... I'm just a little bit confused by their planning there, but you know what? You do you. How are you guys doing in Calcutta? I mean, you're defending a, a naval invasion. That's really what you're here for. Yeah, so you can take over Toronto. Move our way in this direction. You guys, let's assign you to here. So once we take Toronto, push away to Ottawa, push away to Montreal. Because it looks like the CSA, they've already taken Vancouver, so Victoria shouldn't take too much longer, and then they can take... Oh, they already have Regina. Winnipeg, they have Calgary, they don't. Neither do they have Edmonton. But they, I'm sure they'll get there soon enough. Probably. By the way, what's our unit count? 120 or 124? We actually might not be able to deploy more units. And I will say, right-clicking, like, doesn't actually... Like, what? Why? How come sometimes right-clicking doesn't actually fix this? I have an idea, though. If we draw, like, a fallback line here... Sometimes if you do... Assign, assign... And then you delete that army... Or delete that plan, sometimes it breaks it. It did not. I mean, we'll deploy these tanks. We're going to go to War Economy soon anyways, which will give us another bonus. So may maybe this will all work out anyways. Maybe we'll, we'll, maybe we'll be good. Yes, yeah, so we're going to keep you around Buffalo. Yeah, push Toronto. Toronto's one of the... Toronto might be the biggest city. Yeah, it's a city that's worth the most points here, so... It's pretty nice to have. Put some more AA guns here. We'll also, build some AA guns in uh, our ally as well. So we have a level four forts now. We do. So it should make it fairly difficult. Should make it fairly difficult for Germany to actually try to push into our forces, which is good. Okay, so we've gotten... Canada is now down to 65-8%. We need to take this for the railroad. There we go. So now Toronto's going to have the supplies that they need. They can hold this position for a little bit longer. And what, what year is it? It's almost 40. So you know what? We'll take our uh, aircraft bonuses. I mean, you're doing okay. If you actually like like these two provinces, Canada will be cut in half. Which, to me, does seem extremely beneficial. But I need... I do need world tension to increase. Boston's collapsed. Ex oh, naval invasion. Excellent, excellent. And unfortunately, Greece was annexed. We, we, we knew that was going to happen eventually. You know, that isn't a surprise to us. It shouldn't be a surprise to you either. Okay, let's gun this unit out of here. Let's see if we can maybe clean this up. I mean, I'm glad they've landed and taken Boston. If they can kill off... Where are they? If they can kill off New England, that would give... This, uh, the Americans a massive power spike because they can basically take Montreal, Ottawa, Quebec City, Halifax. They'll be next to many, many, ma many major cities. And then we just got to kill the Canadians. Like, it's actually, it's actually beautiful. Also, I would like to be spy. Eh, well, I mean, nobody's spy master right now. I'll claim the title. If nobody else wants to be spy master, I will be spy master. Okay. I will. T I will take that sacrifice. Okay, we also upgrade our mountain infantry. But we won't upgrade our paratroopers at all. 
Organization plus five. I don't know how necessary it really is. Let's go for the 41 light tanks. New York City has fallen to Boston or to uh, New England. It's a little annoying, but it's not really that bad. How are you guys doing? We don't have that many units over here. And I don't think the CSA actually has that many units of their own either. They did do on the next step. So theoretically, they might do good Syndicalist Soldier. Which would get us directly involved in the Canadian War. Which would get us directly at war with the Entente. So I'm wondering, do I want to send my naval units... Like, how, how many boats does Britain have? Britain has a navy of... 214 ships, or 117. Germany has 156. I don't even have 100 intel against them. Cops are operative. Oh, because we captured an operative of theirs. Okay. How, how is their resource allocation? 86, 12, 41. Okay, the German economy is fucking massive. Compared to ours. Like, it's, a, it's actually absurdly fucking large. Holy hell. Which does put us in a like a little bit of an awkward spot, I will say. But again, like like most of the time, it, it really is it's just Germany. Everyone else is kind of a weak little baby, right? I haven't taken back New York City yet, which is a little which is a little worrying for me. The shelling of Avancor. At 6 a.m. this morning, a so-called military exercise organized by the German army has proven to be nothing more than a treacherous act of aggression against the commune. At least two artillery batteries have opened fire across the border and have shelled Avancourt, a small and undefended village near, the Na uh, near Nancy. Twelve buildings have been destroyed and 26 people, mostly women and children, have been slaughtered by in this cowardly attack. The survivors are being uh, evacuated as border troops reinforced in a long reinforced long range uh, artillery are now facing the murderous German units. Emergency session has been uh, held at the Bros General de Treville, where the chief of staff have come to the uh, aids of from Bascogne to Paris. And consider the most appropriate response for such an attack. 120. Demand an official apology. Now, if Germany knew what was good for them, I wanted. I do want to start the war. I think if Germany apologizes, it's, it's a big um, world tension debuff. Naval attack is garbage. Ground attack sounds good. We'll take you. The German army mobilizes. As expected from the imperialists, Germany has not only refused to apologize for its crimes, but has called for the general mobilization. Active and land division divisions are, uh, are gathering between uh, Wallonia and Switzerland, where our fighters have been engaged in isolated dogfights with German planes above Sedan. And periodic gunfire exchanges reported along the Lorraine border. War season now seems imminent. Uh, however, more moderate members of the Burswell de Treville are worrying about our level of operational preparedness and have declared that they would vote in favor of temporary retreat and an order away for new tank and bomb models uh, that should be delivered in a few months now. We are going to rally the troops. Give me the war support. We're going to take down Germany. Send this tank division over to purple. Well, the problem with a, with a, with a purple invasion like this is that it actually... I'm going to actually make another army here. Under a new field marshal. Do I only have one field marshal? Okay, no, they're up here. I'm going to assign you to be, like, right there. You are going to be the white army because we don't have one quite yet. I'm going to bring some of the units away from the... Uh, the Portuguese border. Because the like, thing with Portugal is like... We're not going to be at war with the Entente immediately. Right? Like, that's not happening. As unfortunate as it is. These units have, like, no supplies. Which is very, very, very disappointing. Can you guys do good cynical soldier? Ayal has capitulated. The Ottomans are doing, I would say, incredible. Given their position, Portuguese troops have gathered at the border. 
But we have another operative. You're a British operative. I, I don't know why, but I'll take him, I guess. I'm going to send you to Berlin. Infiltrate, 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 aid force, resistance contacts. In Luxembourg? Oh no, it's in the Ardennes, okay. Now I will say the the uh, the Reichs Pact does have a lot of units. They have a, they do have a scary, scary amount of troops. And it is something that we need to be aware of. Now, will they push through us immediately? I don't think so. Well, let's get our aircraft on high alert. Deploy everything we actually have. How do we want how do we want these guys arranged? Purple, that's the Italian front. What are you? You're the naval support? Okay, we're gonna send you here just so I don't get confused. And what about you guys? And then all of you should now have plans. Uh, you're gonna do port strikes, you're gonna be in the English Channel. Nine hundred You're also a naval bomber. Let's send you up here. What are you? Oh, you're carrier fighters. Okay, okay, okay. You guys will support this army. You already ready to go. You guys will support yellow army. Bring our heavy aircraft back. We're going to use that to basically bomb lower Germany when the time comes. So when is war going to take place? 26 more days. At that point, our volunteer um, that we sent uh, around the world are not going to be able to do too much. So actually, you know what? We should recall our volunteers immediately. We're going to need every single soldier in this fight. I'm surprised the Bahardi Commune is even still alive. But I mean, you know, good for them. Good for them. I take both of you, huh? Okay, done. 83 armor experience. Not enough to get another upgrade quite yet. What ideologies are you? Social Democrats, Social Democrats. Liberal, conservative, your national populist. Sweden, I'm hoping we'll just stay completely neutral. And you're at 47. Okay, so you're almost ready to do the pair uh, drop. But how is that actually going to work out for us? I don't don't quite know. Also, I do want to build some railway guns. I, I think railway guns would be would be quite nice for us. Okay, there goes the uh, Bahardi Commune. Lost, but not forgotten. They have now returned back. Four division, we're going to send that to the new white army. And I guess white army, your job is just spearhead your way towards Essen, Dortmund, Cologne, a lot of these major German cities. Is there anything we want to buy or sell at this point? We're, trying, we're still trying to sell tanks. We actually need more tanks. Do I even want these divisions? I mean, I kind of do. Deploy you, delete. We don't have tanks, right? No, okay. I'd rather have tanks in storage than in the field doing nothing. Assign you here. We're going to be over capacity. Not by too much, though. What's our, what's our final unit count then? 131? Honest, honestly, ain't bad. Britain, 72, 56, 
1958. Now, there are a lot of units here. However, what I'm hoping for is that the entire Eastern Front is going to move their way over here. We see there's some Ukrainian divisions, some Polish divisions. And if they send all their units over here, maybe Russia can just start pushing their way in extremely, extremely aggressively. And maybe we can work with that somehow. Oh, you see all these units leaving? I mean, it's because Russia is now trying to uh, make some maneuvers. Okay, so the Second Vilkrieg has now begun. Around Ludendorff, this is going to bypass automatically. We don't care about that. I mean, because already they're all in the right spec. It doesn't matter. I guess we go flexible support. In a defensive war. Okay, because we actually declared war first. We don't get the defense. I mean, that's understandable. I don't even know what you do. Okay, I'll take one of you. Sure. Call everybody into the conflict. And, like, what are our numbers looking like initially? Austria's intervened. Immediately they've intervened. Which I think means I want you guys to be moving your way into Austria ASAP. They are in the Reichspact. And you have now declared war on the Entente. So I want to call everybody into... The Entente War. So Purple, I need you to be pushing. I think Purple goes in extremely aggressively against the Portuguese, which I don't think they'll be able to put too much uh, pressure on us. I think Austria is going to be a little bit of like the weakest link here. Which is good. We don't have a lot of fuel. However, our shipping lanes towards um, South America should be pretty open so i would like to trade oil not with russia anymore but with america give me 13 factories worth of oil yeah i think russia is going to be going to war very very soon as well libre beater has been bypassed excellent military science Can we go maybe the damocles project Yeah, because once Portugal's dead, I don't know what we do after that, to be completely honest with you, but I have, something will happen, I'm sure. America wants an aggression pack. Ireland will send 14 divisions. Britain will send 43. You know what, actually, maybe I would take them. Right now, we're 10 over. It's a 1.4% penalty. Honestly, I, that's fine. And how's our superiority? They have 2,000 aircraft. Okay, cool. They have, they have a lot of planes, okay? You know what, actually, let's go straight into the Damocles project. Seems like that could be fun. Okay, we are getting more oil. Let's do some mine link operations around uh, the UK and the Bay of Biscay. What are casualty rates already looking like? 1,000 versus... Okay, that's against everybody. So, I mean, those losses don't really work exactly the same way, but... I think Austria... How many troops does Austria have? Because once Austria unifies all their little puppet states, they actually lose their divisions. Because you're already at war. I would love for the uh, the U.S. to uh, to join us. Yeah, Portugal's already dead. This is exactly exactly what we were wanting. Just to finish one of these fronts ASAP. Mexico wants to send to seven divisions. Mexico, you're a little far away. Lisbon's collapsed. And I think we're actually send uh, purple army. Yeah, we're gonna send purple army now that they don't have a battle plan. We're going to send you over here, and your job is to basically push away towards the Serbian border. Okay, there's a naval invasion maybe going around the um, southern Spain. But that's okay. 
Give me more... I think I want to spend this here. There's a lot of shit going on in the... Uh, there's so many German units. But I think what we're doing really is just holding on. Pushing our way against the Austrians. I think, again, Austria, I'm, I'm like 99% sure they're going to be the weakest link here. Argentina will definitely take your support. I would prefer... I mean, is there anybody in the Reichspact even over there? Kind of. There's Cuba. So I think that may be... They, they, I think they would be useful. There's a lot of naval operations going on immediately. You guys want to give me some guns? I will not say no to that. We are down a little bit in rifles. And Serbia has declared war. Okay, so that, that's really what we were looking for here. Greece is down the Belgrade pack. Bulgaria... I think might be neutral? And, and see, that is exactly... This right here is why we supported Serbia all of those years ago. Is because they would be anti... They'd be anti-Austria. Whereas a fully victorious... Um, a fully victorious um, Bulgaria almost certainly be, would be pro-Berlin. Which is not what we were wanting. Okay, 10 days on you. Chile wants to join the international, absolutely. Chile, did I not did I did I reject you by accident? I think I might have said no to Chile by accident. Uh politics tool. You Thank you. Are you who what puppet are you? You're a puppet of Argentina. Okay. And purple, I think purple I was gonna say like maybe purple can push in immediately, it's hard to say. Pull you on limited numbers here I think are still looking pretty good. One million versus we only lost thirty four thousand troops so far, which is crazy to me. How many has Germany lost? Eighty six K? Surprisingly few casualties. Uh, for this point in the war. But hopefully Serbia and Romania can get some good, uh, some good stuff going on here. Like, do I send, do I send volunteers to, not send volunteers, do I actually send units to Serbia? You know, purple actually, move, stop that for a second, move your way to Bari. And I'm gonna actually maybe ship you to Serbia to help kill off the international, or help kill off Austria. I think that makes sense. Uh, but until then, it'll be a good time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Then now, you can close them down. You want to see more? Subscribe and goodbye.